But we're going to begin with a Metro Detroit man accused of attacking a police officer during the riot at the United States Capitol. Topping our news at five, the Wixom man is accused of using a hockey stick to go after officers and gain access to the building. Investigators identified Michael Foy through videos and pictures like these. Local four defender Sean Lay has been digging into Foy's background and Sean, he was in the military. Good evening, Kimberly. Here's what the defenders are learning tonight. Yes, Michael Foy in those pictures is wearing a U.S. Marine veteran's cap. The FBI says his father, who lives out in Westland, identified his son as a Marine on his Facebook posts. And the family is very pro-law enforcement, we're learning. However, Foy is now charged with a vicious attack on a police officer right outside the Capitol. It's on video. Take a look. In this viral video taken during the Capitol chaos January 6, there are 16 excruciating seconds of a man viciously beating a D.C. Metro police officer who was defenseless and on the ground. The FBI collecting photos from that day, searching for the identity of the man they called the hockey stick guy. Tips flowed in, and this morning the FBI moved in on this rented condo on Wixom Road in Wixom. The local four defenders obtaining this photo of the agents gathering outside. Inside, they found Michael Joseph Foy. Foy was charged with attacking the officer and entering the Capitol. This man watched the Wixom raid go down. I heard a bunch of people talking, and, and uh, it was the FBI out here, every, everywhere. We showed him the video of the officer being beaten with that hockey stick. Mm, mm, mm. That's out of control. That's definitely out of control. The local four defenders have this video of Foy protesting the vote count in November at the TCF Center in downtown Detroit. The defenders found Foy on a right-wing conspiracy site. Foy's father lives here in Westland. A back the blue sign is right out front, but now Foy is charged with attacking a police officer. Foy in court late this afternoon in federal court actually appearing on Zoom. He's being held in detention now. Won't be going anywhere until a detention hearing on Monday will determine if he gets out or not. At that hearing, uh, we're told that the officer attacked had his body camera on. That video will be played in court on Monday. Guys, it's 6 o'clock. Foy's own father made some Facebook posts that actually helped the FBI uh, identify his son. And also keep in mind, if he took that hockey stick from here across state, lines intending to commit crimes. He could be facing uh, more charges as this investigation is really just starting to get going. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4 Defenders, what back to you. Story, Sean.